it angry at me? Oh, Streamlabs is angry. Hello, Streamlabs. Would you like? To, would you like to actually like do the thing? Would you like? Would you like to? Come on, come on, buddy. You got it, buddy. Come on, Twitch. Come on. Give me the notifications. Oh, I can boot up my gaming during this. Okay, gaming is happening, folks. Oh, I might as well open up Discord. Hold on just a second, folks. I gotta. Sorry, my roommate was yelling at me. <laughs> I don't know if it picked up on the mic, but he was yelling at me because he was going to borrow my car. Ah, Discord says I'm streaming. Hey, Lamau. Uh, let's click those buttons. Why is there desktop audio? Oh, my wallpaper background. Right. I should mute my wallpaper engine stuff so that doesn't happen. Hold on. I'll mute it so that you don't have like the wind in the background. Uh, volume all the way down. What about my other monitor? Oh wait, I don't even need to change that. I want to change my fucking monitors to my fucking gamer shit. Sorry, there's a bunch of backgrounds on Wallpaper Engine of Terraria bosses and stuff, and I kind of try to, like, theme my desktop to, like, doing cool shit and, like, whatever, you know, run or game I'm playing. So, like, during the Heart Gold run, I had a Pokemon background, but I don't anymore. Oh, right, and I also did a little bit of fishing off stream, and I got literally nothing. I fished for, like, 15 minutes. <gasps> oh, but I did do a thing! That's actually, like, cool and interesting and, like, it, like neat. I, I made a thing. I designed. I didn't really design. It's, like, the most basic fucking thing in the world. But, because I kept on getting all the critters, I, I put all the critters into cages. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, white. Wow. Anyways, it's all down here now. Holy shit, there's a fucking slime. You really don't normally spawn down here. Where have all the good men gone and where are all... I can't sing on stream, I forgot about that. Can you guess what song I have stuck in my head? Yeah, it's the one I just sang. <laughs> I'm not allowed to sing on stream. I always forget this. Well, I don't always forget it. I usually remind myself right before I, like, go live. I'm usually able to catch myself and, like, remember and be like, Oh, wait, yeah, 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 I can't do the thing. Like, I'm not supposed to... I'm not supposed to sing, because Twitch doesn't like it, but... I always want to sing anyways, because I like singing. Oh, I also found a couple of artists that I really like, so I'm gonna buy their stream licenses. They're free, like, they're public, but... I can pay money for them, so I will. I'll toss a couple bucks their way. Like, uh, uh, Wintergarten. They have, like, a public streaming license thing. 
that like you can just get for free if you like can't pay. But I can pay, so I'm just gonna like fucking love those guys. I'm gonna go do that. I just want to make sure like I follow the directions of like their agreement and whatnot, whatever they've got. Uh, what else can I modify this place with? Well, since I'm gonna need like a mob farm, this doesn't really matter right now. I need a hero. I just got the song stuck in my head now. This is, this is not gonna go away until I get better music, please. Okay, uh, let's go down. I need to find... What else do I need to find? A lava charm would be cool. Water, water boots, water walking boots. Let's do some more surface stuff. I kind of want to, I want to, I want to get the surface figured out and then I want to build houses. Because I know I've, I keep on saying that I need to build more houses and I really desperately do, but I just haven't yet. And we're gonna. Give me you. Thank you. I also have Benny Worm by Jack Stauber stuck in my head. And that, that one's less important than... I just actually did that. Okay. That's... It's a thing I just did, didn't I? Okay. Let's sell the frost burns, but I'm gonna need that mini shard. And I'm going to the dungeon. So maybe I'll get a water bolt over anything else. But God, that fucking hurts. Okay. God damn it. Yeah, I'm not making another diamond staff unless I actually, like, just fucking need it. We'll try to keep it to the ranged versus magic specs. Since specking between these two is actually, like, super good. You want my advice? That. I also will need... Oh, I'll need, like, jungle crates and stuff. I could use those. Wait, hold up. I think sky and jungle aren't mutually exclusive. I think I can double the, both of those up, so we should do that. Dude, a surface sky jungle would be so good. So good, dude. Okay, we're going down here. What's down here? Who knows? Spooky. Okay, there's nothing down there. I, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but uh, sure. Oh, I also dug out this to get the... I needed sand for the terrariums that I placed underground, so... Yeah, that's not the worst thing that's happened to me so far, so whatever. I'm, I'm kind of indifferent to that occurring. This is fine. This is why I always need, like, adept control of my mouse. Because I fuck it up like that. But that's a rare occurrence. I think it's only happened twice in this playthrough so far, and I've played for quite a bit of time. Okay. Ooh, that's on a slight delay when I look at the other screen. Well, of course it's on a slight delay. But, like... Very small to life.
Okay. We're almost already back. Like I didn't I didn't get very far before I started exploring a bit. Oh right, and there's also a there's a surface chest inside of the um side of the corruption on the right. And I do need to investigate that. I don't know, let me also just place these. Hey, I want your things. One is mandibles. Okay, cool. Poorly executed, but cool. I was going to be very concerned if there was not a... Well, actually, we still might not see an underground desert. I I will be concerned. Why is it facing? That's facing the wrong way. That's just that's just straight up facing the wrong way. Okay, so this skeleton fight is gonna be fucking weird. Do I have a depth meter? Yeah. We are taking everything we can get. Obviously, I mean, come on. Shit don't come free. I don't see a goddamn water bolt. I was kind of really hoping for a water bolt. Water bolts are very nice because water bolts can fuck up Skeletron. Well, so can bees. Maybe I go for bees. I don't know. That's a bomb. Please don't destroy anything. Oh, right. They can't. They can destroy the platform, but I'll just place the platform in the back. That's fine. Hey, buddy. Okay, that's nothing. Where is zero surface? Somewhere down here is zero surface. Yes, I'm very close to zero. And you're not allowed to go further than zero. Honestly, can't believe I got away with that, but that's fine. Yeah, I do not see a water bolt. It's like a, it's a weird one. It's not the book color you'd expect. It's like blue with a yellow band or a yellow book with a blue band or something. Anyways, I did get a brass lantern. I really like the way that the brass lantern sprites look, so. We will, in fact, see how that goes. Please die. another oasis? It's not. I was kind of hoping for that to be an oasis. Hey, surface chest. What you got, buddy? Ah, a thing I actually need. Thank you. I think that was the last one I, I that I did not have. I, I like that a lot, actually. dirt okay so there's there's I got quite a bit of shit I can sell if I ever find a merchant on the ground here but I, I won't it's fine well wow, there's a lot of trees oh, I gotta move yeah okay let's see what we can do that one nicely.
much space do I have? I have very little, if any, space right now. Fucking knew it. I suspected, but I didn't actually really know it. Oh, that's perfect for now, right now, actually. Let's see what's in here. More shit. Can I put you there? I'll put you there, actually. Uh, this stuff, let's get rid of the mana cuffs, the obsidian skull, and the regen band to expand this a little bit more. Ah, uh, chat message, please load. Yo, what up, Connor? You do, in fact, see me. How's it going? Oh, man, both of my chats are lagged. Hold up. There we go. Okay, this should work. That was the wrong... Thing. I thought I had another thing equipped. That's fine. We'll go back. I need to make multiple trips to this shit anyway. I hate caps lock because of the game I play. That's what map is bound to sometimes. Just remap your keys, bro. What are you doing? Okay, so all this is dope. Let's see. Yeah. This doesn't matter right now. I can sell that. I really won't need an umbrella. Ever. Switches. I, I have a place for them. I just don't remember where. Stream game for fun. Gonna do some wrestling tonight. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Tis dope. I can sell all that. And we will throw this into mats too. Let's go yell at the grenade man. Or the, the gun man. Wow. A whole 77 silver. Incredible. Love that. And of course, no notifications. Pretty guy. We are good. Wait, no we're not. We're fine. We're good. Oh, my stuff, right. I didn't actually get rid of this. So this is kind of just on us now. What else do I need for the Rec 3K? Oh, I literally just need a tally counter. That's annoying as fuck. I get a tally counter and then fishing. The fishing stuff is just so unnecessarily difficult to get to get a cell phone, but... Depending, we might do it. I really want it, obviously, because it saves, like, literally... Put well, not literally, but potentially... It, it saves, like, 3 to 6 inventory spaces. Or 3 to 5. Since you'll have the G like you basically need the GPS, the Rec 3K, and the Goblin Tech in order to like function. Fishing stuff is not as important. The sextant is actually kinda nice. Actually, so is the weather radio. Okay, so maybe it is like nice. You know, please just give me the prickly pair. What the fuck do you think I want, dude? Couldn't give less of, less of a shit about like half this garbage. And then still our next bosses are either Queen Bee, Eater of Worlds, or Skeletron. In any order. Oh, I never picked up the chest because I portaled. That's fine.
a lot of fairy logs in this world. I like that. Epic. <laughs> 947 damage. That's fucking incredible. Yeah, I don't really care about going down there. Beach. Probably. Well, there's an oasis. Weird. But beach, right? Like, I got past the dungeon. It's probably the beach. It's a long-ass beach. Is it really not? Oh, there it is. It's, yep, that's, this is a beach. This is what I was looking for. I mean, hey, buddy. Thank you. Okay, what do I want? I want... We'll use bullets. Hold up, do I have water breathing yet? No. Trying to get something. Some coral, some sand, anything that'll work. Sure, we'll see if this is enough. For like literally anything that I'm doing. Seashells are a block. Starfish, lightning whelk shell, yeah. That's kinda how it goes. Why? Give, give. Sell you, put you into materials, sell all of the rest of you as well. Damn it. Okay. So that did net me a radar. One part of the objects I needed. Uh, but I also need, how far did I get? Quite. Uh, do I have any gravitation potions? How do I make gravitation potions? Do I have any semblance of the materials required to craft such an object? Gravitations. Definitely not, because it needs feathers, and I don't even need to look at anything else. Cool. So... Still need stuff for, like, lava waiters and whatnot. It's not like I can get water, like, chests, but I can get ocean chests. That's a thing. I just need death like, Well, death weed seed specifically, so I shouldn't be doing this. But. Oh, I can do this though. can do this to help me identify when I do see Deathweed that it is, in fact, Deathweed. Alright, I should 
switching jungle torches soon. Hey. Let's go, dude. This is also a way for me to make it so that it's, like, visible to audiences that are watching. Hello, I'm trying to make accessible stream. I can't do a fucking Eastern block accent to save my life. such a huge jungle like usually I'd be happy with a huge jungle because it means like good stuff but it's just scary for the worthy is a scary seed dude oh there's a chest there I don't know if I ever looted it but I have things there I did I just didn't grab the chest itself which I'm willing to bet whenever it was on stream that I looted that chest, I then said immediately afterwards, yeah, we're not going to grab it because I'm being chased by something. But we'll get it the next time I come around. Because usually I can predict the future like that. Okay, we are in uncharted territory. definitely worth the little detour to just ooh, block it off please give me one of your things one or two I just need one for a storage chest yes a tattered cloth thank ooh there's a second corruption as well which means eater of world spawn orbs are probably going to be easier to find and also potentially death weed hmm, anything yes there is a death weed here I don't have a sextant, so I don't know when it's gonna, like, do the thing. It's also, like, early morning, so I couldn't... I couldn't wait around to see what's happening. But Oh, multiple death weed, that's good. I also would really like... Um... I would really like some herb bags to try to expand my seeds, because I think I literally only need death weed seeds. But whatever. Nothing useful there. Just weird garbage. I can't mine Ebonstone, right? Yeah, this is still a problem. Thank you. Damn, I'm actually going to run out of fucking torches. Not a good thing. Flippers, that's actually good. I, I did need those. Yep, we're done. That's sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. Keep you, but sell you, 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 and you. We're gonna keep you. And keep you.
So housing, I think, is a good spot to start. Um, so how do we do it? Easy. Give me all that. And then you. We're going to change a sky island. Well, this sky island, actually, we probably won't do that. Since this Sky Island is kind of shit. I mean, they're all locked, but, I, you know. We don't have to replace it here because we should make the a different portion into a you know actual thing. But I think I was just gonna build with this stuff and then mahogany wood, some bamboo. How many torches do I have? I'm gonna need more than that. Let's go get some. anything important. You never will, I don't think. And all that doesn't matter to me right now. Okay, let's get up here. And I will move the surface pylon up here when they get be Place this. Perfect. Oh, neat. I can place that here. Um, sure. I think that's fine.
Is that an angry dandelion? I completely forgot those things existed. Yeah, but now I've got it in my bestiary. Dog, 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 dog. Do it. Give dog. Give dog. Give. Give. Okay, so I want to keep you, 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 you. All y'all can go. I'll just sell the red squirrel for bottom dollar here. Yeah, he's gonna give me a bit worse for my money, but whatever. No. Can you craft things with the clouds? I need the glass, please. Neat. These, why not just destroy them? Who fucking cares? Let's, let's get this bread. Okay, I see the fire blossom, like, blooming, but... Oh, that's actually exactly what I fucking wanted. Yeah, I'll do this. I don't love the way that looks. I don't hate the way that looks. E. Indeed. I'm gonna break this down here. Perfect. 
it'll always lead me upwards, which is good. Yeah. Oh, that death weed is blooming. I don't want to go get the death weed. I'd rather just fight things. Let's do some combat in this combat based video game. Y'all ready for some fucking combat? Don't worry, Blood Moon bypasses the uh, peace candle or the NPC stuff. That's not great at all. Can I please have a money trough? Oh, it's just because they have a lot of defense. That's why I'm not doing anything to them. Yeah, because I... It, this costs, like, no mana to use. Perfect. Here. That's actually great. Especially if I can find a place where uh, a death weed is blooming near the house. Oh, I should run over there now. Let's finish killing off this guy and then move. There we go. Yeah, bloody tear. That's great. I'm looking for death weed. I don't see any death weed. So we're gonna explore down here instead. Okay, this was this was a bad idea. Yo! I can't believe I missed that, but that's so good. Oh, I don't need to be here anymore. This is fine. I'm missing an herb. Oh, moon glow. There you go. Rip to the guide, but I'm different. We'll be all right.
Man, I... Okay, there's a, there's a zombie, but like, I've already got the zombie banner down, which is why I'm killing them so fast. But the bride is not a zombie, technically. It's classified as its own little thing. It's like a subclass of mini-boss or something. Oh, I mean, when you're in the master mode for the worthy, it's incredibly useful to use them for the intended purpose, though. Like, I really want an eye banner right now, like a demon eye banner, which is why I'm also trying to, like, kill them when I can. Because I know I'm going to be close. Wherever I am, I'm close, but... I'm probably somewhere in the range of 30 demon eye kills, but... That's not great. Okay, I have two bloody tears. That's great. Can I get a shark tooth necklace? Can I get, you know, any other useful item? Maybe. It might just, it might just treat me one of these. I have 50 million blocks. Can I get another Discord? Best I can do is a chaos serpent. I got you, Luis. Run the other way. Marco. Your name is Marco. Stop shooting at him. Run away. Okay, get him off screen. Hold up. Boom. He's safe. But I'm also away from my banners now, which is great. Hold up. Now I'm back. It's fine. You can die. I don't have them anymore. I trashed them. Oh, I mean, they also sell for like two silver. Save those bitches up and you get something. Or like two silver base price, you know, without the modifiers from happiness. Okay, we got one out of two. I need a money trough now. I only needed one shark tooth necklace. This is great. you dead. I want your banner. Eh. I mean, I got the violent, or I got a shark tooth necklace. If I really don't get a, a money trough, I, I won't be too angry or mad since I'm using the piggy bank as sort of a, just a personal storage joint that could be any chest anyways, but... Still marginally annoying to have to deal with. Damn, can I please get an eyeball banner sometime? Somebody want to go and watch all the Terraria VODs, even the ones that I haven't uploaded yet, and tell me whether or not I have a chance? Or how close I am? Damn! Assholes. Okay, there we go. I guess we're just going back then, like, yep. We'll switch it up. Oh, we got the angler. How's it going, buddy? Aren't you just cool? <sighs> Alright. Uh, oh, you. I mean, 
you're far better used as like an actual accessory, so yeah. All you guys get the accessory treatment. I really don't need a web slinger anymore. I can sell you. Wow! I know she's not happy, but Jesus Christ. That's some stiff pricing. On a rare item like a web hook. The stylist would kill for that. She would. That was the joke. Cool. I really just wanted the depth gauge miner. I'm very happy about having that depth gauge miner. Okay. His hours. Painter's back. We have a lot of NPCs to be getting, so. Just kind of going to be excited when any of them show up. Nice base. Hello. I try to like actually make it look good because people are going to be staring at it forever. <laughs> I might as well try to improve the quality of what I'm making, you know? Let's do this one up. Two over. And I also try to vary the shapes, at least marginally. Usually don't have a base in this my NPCs. Yeah, I really like the, I really like the pylon system and like spreading them around so we'll also probably move the forest pylon up to here just so i can actually like teleport up here and not worry about it but that's for a bit later i can i can do that oh did he teleport into one of these houses no we still are waiting on new npcs who i know we've got like one or two that's coming up i don't know who though okay where's he he is home I just realized that I can only have one forest pylon down. Can any be spawn in light? Sometimes. I don't know the spawning mechanics of Terraria as well as I do Minecraft, necessarily, but I know they can spawn in full light. It just depends on the strength of, well, their spawn rate. Like, how many free NPC slots are open? Like, do you have critters around? Did you overload the critter slots? Because that's an option for you. Um... That's garbage. Oh, Philip DeFranco uploaded. Hell yeah. I'll watch that when I'm off. Anyways. Nobody down here is happy enough to sell me anything. Oh, whatever. Because it'll be really annoying getting run of Discord. Uh, well, just build yourself a big mob farm. I'm sure Happy Days has a tutorial on that. I think Happy Days is the guy that I follow the tutorial. But I've just got that shit memorized because I build a mob farm for every goddamn world I'm in. Okay, so we're doing... Let's go one more over. 
Look at this. Just cleared out a really big area. Ye you know what's up. You know what you're doing. Now it has to be at least too wide for what my shenanigans want to be. Uh, I don't know if this is good or not. Let's see. Ooh, that does marginal. Eh, it sort of works. Let's see how this goes. I can always redesign it. Can they spawn in water? Uh, some enemies, like jellyfish. But they cannot spawn if there is a player-placed wall behind where they are. It's like if you fill the whole area with, like, back walls like these ones. Rich mahogany walls, or... I usually just use stone slab walls since they are the cheapest to make. Uh, that's good. They cannot spawn in water if there's walls behind it. I don't make it look nice. Well, you don't have to make it like great. I just cleared it. Well, making it making it functionally nice is really good. And functionally nice in this game also happens to coincide with, you know actually being good like it looks okay it's not the worst thing in the world i kind of like the funkiness of like two little houses i like this this isn't bad uh oh i got an idea uh let's do this just a few great breaks single wall along the floor yeah and every once in a while, just... No, I think that's honestly enough. Yeah, that makes it look nice. Queen Slime was harder than I thought. Queen Slime is a bit of a bitch. But, she is entertaining. She took like two seconds to kill. Well, with the Zenith, yeah. <laughs> You'll get that. Okay, so now what I want to do... <gasps> Where? Yo, hold up. The dog's gonna be over here then. Yo! Let me pet the fucking dog. I love you. What is he, a little bulldog? I love him. Pretty long for the zenith. Well, if you don't have modifiers maxed out, you don't have like the maxed out everything else, maybe. But also, Queen Slime just is weird. I have godly. Well, no, I meant like accessory modifiers, maximizing your speed, maximizing your armor, maximizing any other equipment that might help you, maximizing any of your buffs, your, you know, what's your like DPS meter say, etc., etc. There's a million different things that could be altered, but 90% of the time it's just. Did you have menacing on everything yet? Which I don't have, but I will have to have before I fight Wall of Flesh. Sad champ. Yeah, I'm going to try to make this, like, extend over itself. Can I make bamboo beans? Is this a thing that I can make? Three accessories with 4%, one with 1%. Yes. Large bamboo? I assume that's bamboo bean, then. Very likely bamboo bean. Yeah. What? You are definitely not. What the fuck? I okay, I'm I'm making more large bamboo. I don't think I can make bamboo beans. But I like this. Two defense, not four. Well, you can always improve those, too. Goblin Tinkerer, just go talk to him. He's always going to have the hook up. Oh, just bring the fucking sawmill. It's not like it's doing me any good sitting down there. Yeah, since I'm lazy, I'll not be making an automatic farm. Oh, don't make an automatic one. Just make the grindy one. Especially for, like, Rod of Discord. Yeah, an automatic farm is a nightmare. Because if you, auto <laughs> you accidentally manage to fill up your inventory... Without noticing, you're just going to be so angry with yourself. Oh, that looks a lot nicer, actually. I'm glad that I discovered this. It's not a like insane improvement, but I'm sure it'll look a lot better with the other stuff as well. 
the other improvements that I'll make as time goes on. So I kind of want to just like, what is that, four? Yeah. Kind of want to just do something like this, I guess. I don't really know what. Let's do three up. Yeah, something, so, something sort of like that. It's like a little, you know the classic. This is the thing that I keep doing because I love the way it looks. Just a little, just a little, just a little thing. Let me increase this up by one block, actually. Just this little design, it's cute. We manually clean in. Can Chaos Elemental spawn? Ah, uh, probably. Chaos Elementals can just fuck you up. I, I have no idea about their spawn rates. You can definitely check the wiki, though. The Gamepedia wiki is insanely detailed for almost all the shit you need. Oh, I'll just do normal bamboo, actually, for the wall. a slime option. Go away, thank you. There we go. I mean, the Terra Prisma helps a lot to actually focus on trash and stuff. Well, probably. The Terra Prisma is just the sword thing, right? From Queen or Empress of Light, so... I mean, any summon weapon will help with that, but you shouldn't be dying. Aren't you on a... I think you're on a normal world. Anything that touches you shouldn't fucking do jack shit. I mean, if you're in journey mode, just turn stuff off. I won't die, but it's annoying. Get yourself a uh, Ankh shield. Bit of work, but then you don't take knockback. And you just ignore everything. I'll be getting an obsidian shield before I fight 90% of what's coming gets touched with your solar armor and explosion. There you go, it's defense mechanism. Let's put you all here. I already checked in, it's fine. Still annoying. Yeah. Spec into summon. If you're only looking to building, or if you're only looking to like do building stuff, just spec all the way into summon so that you get a bunch of, like, you know, a large majority of summons around you and then it'll kill everything in your path instead of you actually having to pay any attention to the game. You got options. What am I doing? I mean, I built the houses. Nobody else seems to be arriving. It is nighttime now. Oh, DCU is faster than the dynamite. I can already tell you. You cannot throw dynamite faster than you can get the DCU to work. DCU is a monster of a machine. That's annoying. There you go. But it won't be a straight line clear out a long deep area. Yeah, just use the DCU. <laughs> Don't worry, bud. Also, I have too much dynamite. Sell it. You got it. Selling it would be a waste of money. I don't think you understand what selling operates as. Selling nets you money. If you ever spent any money on the dynamite and you're post Moon Lord. The money you spent during the playthrough no longer matters at all. It doesn't. Like, I could spend 
16 platinum coins on reforging my, like, my entire armor set pre-Moon Lord. And none of it, or, like, reforging all of my accessories pre-Moon Lord. None of it matters if I need to change it. So I'll just free shit. Buy a lot of shit because I'm stupid. Hey, I buy a lot of shit, too. You might as well just cut your losses. This isn't a stock market. It's not going to go up in price. Just sell the dynamite. You've already got a DCU, so you probably just use that for, like, mining purposes. What else the fuck do I want to do? I mean, I like the way that I did this. I don't... I can't actuate any blocks, because it's not like I have an actuation. Yeah, no, I don't have an actuation rod. I was going to say, can I do that? But I can't. something okay there are houses let's move all of the dipshit npcs up here to places where i don't care where they are zoologist and then one other i don't know what is what's another dipshit npc that i don't want to deal with i don't really know belden yeah, I don't need the demolitionist for shit. Vanish. Let's get everybody to move away. Everybody should be in their homes. Wherever their homes are. Uh, let's move the angler up here. And then back down, just so that he's locked into that housing unit. Dryad, same thing. Something to understand about me. I love explosions. Well, then get, uh, what's the thing? Rocket launcher. Go farm the dungeon for a rocket launcher. I'm sure you already have one otherwise. I mean, you can get, like, tier 4 rockets. They destroy tiles. Cyborg will sell them to you on, like, moons or something. Some, some moon. I don't know. doesn't matter about efficiency if it's more fun for you to just blow shit up just go blow shit up okay hold up i need to change you back into normal bamboo now if i have seven stacks of dynamite i'm gonna use it well yeah i mean if it's more fun like yeah i'm not gonna stop you go for it make it sticky dynamite make it bouncy dynamite have fun with that why the fuck not oh bloody tears i don't need bloody tears right now I mean, this is for the worthy, so I'll have to, like, prep a lot going into hard mode. Even more so than I normally do, like, which is a lot. I over-prep everything. Um, so now they have four useless NPCs just sitting around each other because I don't care. Then I don't... I don't think I have an underground pylon set up. Oh, wait. Okay. So I'll get the die trader in next. Get some extra prismatic die. Realize you can die your equipment. Yeah, the whole thing. All the die slots. That's what they're for. You got it. So prismatic DCU. Yeah. Good shit. Okay, you guys, you guys don't give a shit about one another, right? Lack of annoying neighbors and the underground is nice. That's fun. You don't care. Oh yeah, same thing on like vanity sets or on mannequins. You got die sets for them. It's great. Why'd you have extra, extra prismatic die? I don't know. Happens. Yeah, he's not going to be happy at all. Like the merchant's never going to be happy like 90% of where the fuck I am. Or 90% of where I have him. So whatever. Um, But... Goblin boy. I think he only likes the mechanic. Wait, the demolitionist. Who the fuck does the demolitionist like? Because if I move merchant boy up here. I think I can do that now. And I move demolitionist down. I move goblin up. As long as I have one NPC that the demolitionist likes. If I have one NPC the demolitionist likes. 
he'll be fine. The demolitionist probably likes the arms dealer. He probably doesn't like the stylist, the painter. I know he doesn't like the goblin tinkerer because he's racist towards goblins. Happens, yeah, killing Empress of Light day five extra time. Yeah. It, it sometimes happens. He probably doesn't like any of these characters. If anybody, he's going to like the nurse or the guns dealer. So I'm going to move the guns dealer underground with a uh, boy. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to turn off auto pause. I have three-ish minutes to detect. It doesn't matter. Let's blow shit up. Yeah, hell yeah. Might as well have fun while you have it. Okay. Demolition boy. Arms boy. I need to get up here to move uh, goblin boy. Hello, goblin boy. I know you don't really like anybody up here, but that doesn't matter right now. Also, I want the dog up here. He will live with the dryad because, of course, he lives with the dryad. Call him a rocket launcher. I save a lot of random weapons. Hey, that's good. I've just got so much fucking time in this game that, like, I know what I need and don't need. Like, I can just sell most melee weapons. Hey, are you happy right now? I want to strap Darius the arms dealer to a rocket and watch what happens. Why don't you like the arms dealer? <laughs> Hold up. Are they close enough? God damn it. Okay, I'll go back over. What the fuck would the demolitionist like? I don't want to Google it. That's the thing. I, I don't want to search it up. Um, I don't want to search it up because I feel bad about searching it up sometimes. Seen a lot of you kill Moon Lord because celebration mark two memes, but I've never gotten it. Oh, it's 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 a normal drop. There used to be a drop called the celebration, which is now a party girl like thing. You can get it from the party girl, but uh, everybody complained because it was a shit ranged weapon, and they could have just made an actual good one. Uh, and then they made the celebration mark two, which is like supposed to be a good one, but a lot of people don't like it. But I'm not really like involved a lot with the community of this game. Um, I just really like the game. I've gotten two Meow Meters, but nothing good. Meh. I don't know. He might like the nurse, but I, I, I highly doubt he likes the nurse. Couldn't fucking tell you who he likes. Also, we're saving Garfield, because I can't get rid of Garfield. Yeah, let's just go move him around. We'll get the die trader to appear. And we can move the die trader into the desert. Because I like having the die trader in the desert. He's happy with that. I've gotten two, two trophies, two masks. That's good. You just gotta kill him a lot. Okay. Goblin tinker boy. That's all I need to put down here. I'll move the demolitionist up to the surface. Who else might the goblin like? I think the goblin likes the cyborg and the steampunker. But obviously I can't get those right now due to limitations beyond my control. Well, they're in my control, but do not right now, please. You know, you're a great streamer. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. I try to make sure that I'm at least like, you know here <laughs> I certainly do my best it's nice to know that I'm you know at least somewhat achieving my goal okay so I got more housing I think I've got two or three spare houses which for right now that's enough I, I, I'm not advancing very far I do need to do a boss fight what can I do before the boss fight I had some like jungle plans and I wanted to get maybe some gravitation potions. Right. Okay, where is he at? He is at the desert pylon. I just left there. It's fine. Let's see. Oh, the bedazzled nectar. That's great. I don't care. Uh, none of this is important to me. 
Which boss? What class? I have a bad memory. Uh, so I am I'm currently specking as hard as I can straight into mage because I I know I'm I'm best at magic. That's just what I'm best at. I know that. But I've got ranged weapons as backups because they're ranged is the most overpowered and absolutely the 100% best class in Terraria. If you're bad at the game, play ranged. Dumb matter. If you're good at the game, play whatever you want. They're all like pretty okay. Like, Mage is really good post, like, w once you get past the the early game shit, Mage is fine. Like, it's not the best, but it's definitely a close second to ranged. Then Summoner is pretty good, but I, I'd say I just don't have enough experience with comparing Summoner to uh, Melee to really, like, identify when that's, like, the switch happens and one is better than the other. But get Jungle Armor. That's what Summoner give me. Play Melee if you're bad. Mage, you can die too easily unless you're good. Nah. Uh, a lot of people think that mage is really fragile, but it's it's a lot less fragile than everybody thinks. Like, getting warding accessories honestly gives you enough extra defense to, like, manage whatever the fuck you're dealing with. The reason why a lot of people struggle with it is because a lot of people in their first couple of playthroughs don't really spec. They don't necessarily understand until the later game that, hey, I need to do things. So they look for things with high defense because it's good. Other games just have the single stat. Of like, yeah, you need to max your defense so it gets higher. And, uh, I mean, above all else, like, skipping classes, if you don't want to spec into a class, you really don't have to anymore. Like, with the Queen Slime gear, like, you can get decent, like, you can get decently far without specking. And, like, depending on how good you get, like, you can pretty much go as far as you want. And even beyond that, even beyond that, if you learn how to dodge, you can beat everything. Doesn't matter. Like, you're going to want a shield or the, the dash band from the thing, but always go expert mode just so you can get the shield, because the shield is... <laughs> if you want to know the single most overpowered like item in this entire game, it's, it's the shield of Cthulhu, which is so weird to be able to say. But in my opinion, it is 100% the shield of Cthulhu. Getting a dash, like, post-second boss... I mean, Torch God is kind of a boss, but it's not really. Like, second boss, you fight King Slime and then Eye of Cthulhu. Yeah. You get a you get a dash. That's so good. Like, it's insanely good. God, Shields of Cthulhu is fucking busted. Now, the Master Ninja gear, I always choose the Master Ninja. Master Ninja. I cannot speak. Um, Sorry, I was referencing Radical Soda again. I keep watching his videos. He's re he's really good at it. Um, the Master Ninja Gear is great because it offers dodge chance of damage. And just for any class, like being able to just negate the damage. God damn it, Feral Claws. That is like the one item out of these chests that I can't use right now. So it's just kind of annoying to get it. We're going on. With the master ninja gear unless when you have solar armor fucking wings oh yeah if you're in melee like i've always found melee to be more fun in modded playthroughs just because you get something past the solar armor and the accessory slot stays open and also alchemist npc's blinker accessory is the most fun thing to fuck with in all of the world god i love the blinker so much Every time I think of it, it makes me want to go back and play more modded Terraria because the blinker is just so fun. It does exactly what it sounds like if you know anything about, like, stupid science fiction. It's like Tracer's Blink in Overwatch. I played a bit of Overwatch. I know what these words mean. Whoa, that is not a lot of damage. Okay. You're right, I want a Bazor. Anyways, I'm rambling. I really like this game. Don't worry about it. Like, I fucking adore this game. This game is so good. I get a food item at that point. I just consume it. Hey, that a uh, valid fucking strategy. Oh, that's a dead man's chest. Let's go, dude. All right, let's derig it quick. Okay, what else do we got? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Please don't, please don't do whatever the thing you just did was. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I can't open that yet. Um, hey, you wanna drop a Bezor just for free? You wanna, like, give me this weird favor? Where you just do it? Come on. Give me 
me some vines. I don't care. Give me vines, man. I've seen the boulders, but where the fuck is the dynamite? Boom, right there. Two dynamite. It's right underneath. It's hidden in the blocks, so if you don't have, like, good light. Uh, it's actually kind of... It's kind of useful that the lava's right there so that I don't have to light it up and then see where they are. But they're usually placed right below it. And then they also have dark traps next to it. And I've seen one with a geyser, but that geyser might have just been, like, generated really close to it. So it might have just, like, been wired in with the traps. Oh, I gotta heal, because man-eaters do so much fucking damage. Perfect. Whoa. Can we not horn it? Please drop a Bezor. Damn it. I just want a Bezor. This isn't a bit or anything, I just need one. Because I always carry an Onk Shield no matter what class I play, even though the Onk Shield is so good on melee and not very good on mushrooms. Oh shit, I'm stupid. Don't worry about it. But yeah, they really try to make sure you die. It doesn't kill me though. Oh yeah, you can just tank it in normal mode. Absolutely. But any boulder, if it, if a boulder lands on my head, I am dead. Uh, hold on. Let me... Where's a dark trap? There we go. So we got those traps cleared. Yep. Okay, we're clear. I just wanted to check in case I missed something. That was garbage. Not worth my time, man. First time I survived a boulder. It felt really nice. It's nice. Anyways, that dead man's chest. Probably not going to be very useful. But it does act as, you know, something. It's an extra little thing that might help. Okay. We are going to sit here. Oh, you know what I'm going to... Do I do I have things? Do I have stuff? I have stuff. Hold on. We're going to do a thing. It's not going to, like, make this actually good. Don't worry. I'm not going to actually do the full, like, thing that I could do. But... We're going to build a little house. A little shack. Just for living in. Alright, perfect. And then just clear this stuff out. Perfect dynamite at point blank range. I would die. Not IRL. Oh, definitely IRL. Let's be let's be clear, but I knew what you meant. <laughs> uh, we're gonna place a mud block there. Jungle wood up and down here. Perfect. Gotta get those aesthetics, my guy. Excuse me. Well, this is a substantial small burp. Perfect. Okay. I do need some more wood. Mahogany in particular. I'm gonna do it is by just literally harvesting it from this place. Let me see how much damage I take and if I die and stuff. Only 347. Hey, that's cool. That's good. Switch to DCU. It is faster. Highly likely, anyways. Dynamite's good, especially early game. Like, there's a reason I was using it to clear out whatever I could of the like elevator I had. It is just powerful. I didn't get a lot of, like, actual like, mahogany, but I should be able to... Yeah, I have enough to scrounge, and I can do this. Since this guy grew under here, that's enough. We're good. Ooh, wait, hold up. If I collect more cobwebs, I might even be able to, like... I got an idea, hold up. Extend this a little bit. If I get more cobwebs, I might even be able to make a loom. Perfect. That's fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, now I'm pretty much safe in here. What we're going to do is this, though. So I can't get a bed, sadly. Can Chaos Elemental spawn on platforms? They should be able to, yeah. Normal rich mahogany, please. I don't have a lot of, like, anything interesting to make and to... Can I just do this quick? Actually. That's enough. We're just gonna turn this into some stone floor to make it, like, look semi-nice. Perfect. Look at that. This is looking cute as hell. All right, we're just going to drop some chests down so that we can stay down here for longer. Because pretty much all this is just stuff to sell, junk to get rid of, doesn't matter. Stuff to sort into the correct chests. You get the idea. Going for legendary zenith, 75 gold. Yeah. There's always the multiplayer duplication glitch if you're worried about, like, money. I know a lot of, like, players with a lot of hours in this game. Me and a lot of my friends. This is who I'm referring to. Um, <laughs> we just duplicate money once we get, like, far enough in the game where it no longer is, you know, like, fun, I guess. Like, we don't duplicate money out of the gate because then we can get strong shit just for free, but and that's not really fun. But, like, once you hit post-pirates, it's pretty much just like, yeah, we just need money to buy whatever the fuck we need. Can we, can we just, can we do the things? So we just normally duplicate it. Because it also doesn't have too many adverse effects on the rest of the gameplay. Hey, that's some gravitations. We have a chance at finding a, uh, another sky island now. There's more demonites still nearby. We're looking for chests on our little treasure tracker of a metal detector, which should definitely just be called the treasure detector. Whatever. I know how to do it. Use a duplex. The only thing I need to know is what are the blocks placed underneath the chest. Oh, that one is not... That one is patched out. The, the old double item frames. Uh... The classic, that one's duped out, or patched out. There are new ones, though. I just don't know them, because I don't... I, I haven't used any of them. I am definitely going to die here. Hey, we got a party girl. I don't know where she... Oh, she's not there. We're good. Oh, damn it. Plot twist. I use my command. I use commands to give myself money. Hey, that's an option. It's just money. Like, it's not really that big a deal. Oh, I need to search for jungle spores at the same time that I'm down here. There's a heart crystal. There is a chest detected somewhere nearby. Ooh, I saw something moving. We'll see. I was joking, but should I actually do it? I don't know. I mean, it, it, it all depends on what's going to be fun for you, you know? Play games how you want to play them. There's a reason that Risk of Rain 2, like, legitimately allows you to collect, like, all the achievements. No matter, like, if you have modifiers in your game modes or whatever. Because they don't care. Like, they want you to play the game how you want to. If you want to play Terraria, like, exclusively by just cheating, like, you should be allowed to do that. I don't know how to get money quickly. Hey, build a actually good, like, efficient, clean mob farm. That's a good way. Um, or just go, like, mining for things. Killing bosses. If you can stomach just, like, killing bosses over and over again. That's a great idea. Because they always drop, like, a pretty substantial amount of money 
It's not perfect or anything, but it's it's there and it's good. Hold up. Death kill bosses over and over again. Yeah, there you go. The highest earner is obviously going to be Moon Lord, because, like, all of his items, his drops, like, they sell for shit loads of cash. Totally worth your time if you can. Just murder him over and over again using, like, the Celestial Summoner. But. Uh, if you're worried about, like, if you can't get very many, like, fragments, killing Gollum is easy. Because you can just farm the Lizards in the jungle temple. And you had to kill Gollum to get the fucking other shit going. So I know you've already got the Lizard Temple found. That's also what I'm here for. But there's no fucking way I'm finding the Lizard Temple anytime soon. I am in trouble. Dr. Bones! Hold up. We are killing that Dr. Bones. But I gotta focus on the Hornet right now. will 100% get the Dr. Bones. Just give me a minute. Un momento. Okay, this is problematic. Please shoot the bat! Okay, I care about nothing else right now other than killing this Dr. Bones. The Bone Man is it staying alive long enough to kill the bone man. I'm running dangerously low on ammo, but this is not a problem if I can kill the bone man. Kill him. Come on. Got it with nine plat. Hey, there you go. The power cells aren't really that bad if you can get like a battle potion and a water candle. You just gotta know what you're doing to farm. Anyways, I can cosplay as Docker Bones. I can I can play as a Gus Johnson character in this. I'm gonna be Docker Jones. Or MB Amba Jones. Getting medicine here as much plant as we can. Yeah. not getting very lucky on these things, but hey, I think that's a, like a penguin statue. That's dope. You know what I'm going to do? Because I think I'm safe here. Yeah, I think I'm safe here. Some mud. Boom. We will stand here. Gaining regeneration. Hell. Because those man-eaters, while well, they can pass through blocks, can't get to us. And so we can rage into full health by just sitting here for a sec. Letting our potion cool down, get down to about 20 seconds, and then I'll head out. Because I should be able to dodge all damage for about 20 seconds. I think. But I'll heal to full before that happens. Two luckies in a row, two guardians in a row, and two something else in a row. Hey, that's dope. Big fun. Am I healed? I am healed. I am close to 20 seconds on that timer. So we're just going for it. I'm going back to my fucking box. I forgot that they do a lot of damage. Is that cool with everybody else? That I sh I, I'm just be here for a sec. I don't actually want to be here for any bit longer than I actually have to be. Please, just let me do something. Hey! I like seeing this. This is a good environment for me to exist in. Thank you. I'm I'm positively chuffed to bits with this item. How many spores do I have? I have seven spores. That's nowhere near enough. Fuck. There's a jungle bat coming for my ass. I can see him. Try heal. Injury force of DCU. Now all mounts and anything anything that belongs in the equipment slots, like when you click the equipment button on the right here, all that, nah, can't reforge. 
they do not accept reforges as anything. You're the second person I know that's ever said chuffed. Who's the first? That's a primarily British term, and I'm a Midwestern boy through and through. I'm curious who else you've like heard say it. A YouTuber I love? Who was it? I'm curious. It's gonna be a British YouTuber, I know that. Or like a Welsh one, maybe. I know that language spills over. Mumbo Jumbo. Oh, he does say chuffed a lot, doesn't he? I don't watch him as much, but I, I did watch a lot of Exumavoid when I was a bit younger, because I really liked Exumavoid's Hermitcraft stuff. And Mumbo Jumbo was on there. Love him as a wife. <laughs> YouTuber, not romantically. Those can go hand in hand, it's okay. Jax films with that receding hairline. It's just romantically pleasing to me. <laughs> I don't know where that bit was going. I'm <laughs> that was that was just a bad bit. I'm just denouncing that now. Uh, there's still only platinum to take nearby. Let's go down still. Actually, let's get a bearing of where the fuck I am. Okay, yeah, I've explored a lot. Going uh, going literally anywhere right now is a good idea. Also, I heard someone say that the cultist sounds like he says, I'm an Oreo god and I can't hear anything else. Oh, man. I really hope that you're not here when I fight the cultist, because if you say that again, I'm definitely going to start hearing it. I can kind of already hear it in my head, but it'll go away if I don't hear the cultist sounds. Can I, can I please get past you? Don't. Don't. Okay, I know man-eaters are fully immune to knockback, but this is not a problem. Because this thing goes straight through walls and takes up, like, no mana. How much does an ancient manipulator? Maybe zero gold? But it's probably, like, ten gold. But you only ever need one unless you want it for decoration. Which, I mean, if you're me, you always want them for decoration. Because, God, those things look cool, don't they? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck off, Jungle Bat. I ain't even coming near you. You are a bastard. Place down three for no reason. Yeah, it's just it's just another crafting station, in all honesty. So You only really need one, depending on... Or one or two. I don't know if you split your crafting interfaces across your bases or anything. If you don't know what the monoliths do, they sound cool as fuck. I mean, yeah, like, monoliths are dope got that eldritch vibe to it like the hp lovecraft shit but that's the whole point like they're meant to remind you of like or like the whole lunar pillars and or no solar pillars celestial pillars they're called celestial man i've played too much of this game and now i'm just going crazy you receive power from the solar pillar yeah um all that's just meant to remind you of like lovecraft and shit which is dope. I think it's hilarious. I'm dead as fuck. Yep. Okay. Wow. Crazy. That was... How many piranhas is that? Is that four fucking piranhas? Five! There's a fifth one up there that was probably coming down to get me before it KO... Or, like, I got KO'd by the other ones. That's fine. I can bring a bed down. Let's do that. Sounds like you can spawn fire or some shit. Well, you can spawn fire in this game. Just go get yourself a fireball. Or the... The, the flaming flower. The fire... Fire... It's the Mario power-up. Hold up. Yeah, I can save that an inventory space with that. Yeah, I don't remember the rest of like the crafting recipe for the jungle hats and shit, but we'll get there. Oh, I did get moon glow. Okay, so I think I've got all the herbs. There are seven herbs, right? Yeah, I think I got them all. We'll get closer to having like real sets of them. Anyway, here's more decoration items can sell you oh the thorns potion you're absolutely going in there same with gravitation recall potions i can sell jungle torches get them out archaeologist's hat you're actually becoming what i'm gonna own for now i'll sell the wedding dress and veil that's dope i don't need an extra ramp band of regen but i'm gonna keep it i feel like i should i don't know why this is not a thing i have been doing i've normally been selling them but i think my brain is just paranoid for some reason 
Oh, and we have Dip Boy. How's it going, dipshit? Give me your thing. Thanks. Yeah, you're decently discounted. You like the desert, right? Yeah. It's like his hometown. If that makes sense. I can understand why somebody who was locked in the desert would immediately then say, Huh, there's like no color here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go somewhere where like color is a thing. I can respect that. It's very valid. Gotta go for now. Hey, take it easy, bro. I hope you didn't leave before I was able to notice that chat message. <laughs> but take it easy. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Don't feel bad about it. I appreciate the watch time that you gave me. That's fucking like worth more than I could ever, you know. Really notice. Or not notice. Really nota nota nota. It is more notable than anything else you can do. There you go. You gotta manipulate those algorithms. Perfect. Did you even try to brush your hair today? Of course I did not. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, wait a second. We have a party girl somewhere. Where is she? Found her. I don't know. Does the demolitionist like the party girl? What the fuck does the demolitionist like? I'm trying to think. Who is he? I think he likes the... I think he likes the cyborg. I don't know. Oh, cool. I can get the, the other ones. Playlist. Hold up. He's coming for me, probably. There we go. Yeah, this is the Terraria Otherworld soundtrack. I know this. This is dope. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, you're unhappy? You don't like it down here? Yeah, she really does not like the underground. Okay. I know she likes the hollow. How happy are you? I mean, I know he likes the goddamn mechanic, but I'm not... I'm not super, you know... Excited to go kick Skeletron's ass before Eater of Worlds, because I could benefit a lot from Eater of Worlds. Let's see. Hey, guide. Since I don't want to, like, wiki search anything... Could you inform me? Okay, so jungle pants require vines. Jungle chest plate requires spores and stingers. That's fine. Flask of poison. Well, I'm not using melees, so it doesn't matter. And then spores make the hat, but it requires something else. Oh, it's just spores. And then the voids. Love voids. Don't have them yet. You have to beat two bosses to get them, but love the voids. <clears throat> so yeah, in order to get like better armor, we're gonna need to jungle this shit up, dude. Give me you, and you. Where's that loom? <clears throat> okay. Ah, there's something just stuck in my throat, man. <coughs> it's like a ball of mucus. Ugh. That's not fun. <clears throat> Human, but not fun. Um, Yeah, we can go back to there and get that set up. We could probably... Hold up. If I bring this... That's another thing that I could use. I just want a block that's like sort of unique to throw into the jungle. Make it fun, you know? Is there hardened sand bricks?
I don't think there is. I think there's like sandstone bricks. Maybe we just use hardened sand. I think I can ration that out. We just need three houses in the jungle because I'll put the dryad there and the painter there and they like each other as far as I remember. I don't know. What does she what does she have to say right now? Does she like any of her neighbors? I don't like that Danny the Angler has no respect for other beings. You can be angry. Go fuck yourself. Uh, whatever. We're going to give the merchant the dog right now because Spike's doing wonderful for himself. Okay. <clears throat> so I have the bed to make stuff happen there. Do I need anything else? Oh, I bet I have stuff in these chests to uh, make the the house in the jungle work really well. Such as living wood chairs. We can use those. That's good. No, I'm not going to use them. <laughs> like a hornet statue. That's great for decoration. Oh, and a wall creeper statue. I think that would work good. Then I want something like, yes, an Omega banner and the world banner. Those will probably look great. Rich mahogany door. That'll save me something. Let's put a living loom in there. I think that's a good idea. I think it'll look nice. And then... I don't think I need anything else. Oh, actually, let's put an Ankh rather than an Omega banner there. Yeah. Let's build. All I gotta do is get over there and we can build some shit. Let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna check phone. What's trending on Twitter? Hmm. What's trending? Nothing that I have any takes on. Oh, LGBTQ is trending. That's good. Visibility is highly important. Not only is it highly important, it is literally the most necessary thing to advance your beliefs and your rights. Rights are good. Rights for everybody. I would like to build a house above wherever the entrance to the underground is. So we'll probably build it stretching out right over this pit over here. That also gives me surface jungle to fish in. Ooh. Oh, let me get, uh, like, you and you. That's 44 bamboo. I'm going to need more than that. I just knew that I could get it if I came here and just, like, you know, grabbed it. That's why I didn't bring any. Perfect. Uh, I want it for platforms, because I really like the way that the bamboo platforms work. I really love the like blocks that they added in 1.4. It's so good, dude. Okay. Uh, I don't have a sawmill, but depending on how long this takes me to build, we should be able to manage just fine. kind of doing this by ear not really paying attention to how I'm doing my job
I think that works fine. We're actually going to do this. This is 364 on the surface. This is 368, so it's two blocks below. And I want these two to be equal, which is what I'm going for. Um. Oh, I got an idea. Should be 268. Yeah, 368, 368. Let's go. Okay, that'll work great. I kind of like the Terraria Other World music. I didn't like it at first. I didn't. I, I suppose I just. I was just too used to the other ones. But there we go. Something like this. I'm going to put a third one here, here, and here. Well, that wasn't a very seamless transition. Oh, I probably just was switching to like a semi-night theme, that's all. Perfect. I have a plan for how I'm actually going to like split this place up, so it's fine. I got ideas. It's going to be like these. Go down from here to back. Go down. Here, two back, go down, and then two out. There we go. Let's carve this baby up. It's perfect. We're actually going to carve this bottom section away. Alright, oh, I forgot there was a jungle path that way. I could have looked and actually seen that, but whatever. I didn't, is the problem. Yeah, I think we'll do bamboo doors on the inside here. Yeah, those are just going to sit there for a while. <laughs> oh, right. Because I want these guys to be on equal playing field. Ha ha ha. Perfect! That looks nice! I like you. Uh, we're gonna take you guys and just throw you at the wall here. The upper portions will be lined with bamboo. The lower portions will be lined with rich mahogany.
perfect. Now painter man, Luigi is here. Dryad, how happy are you? You uh, do you not like the paint? Shit, she doesn't like the painter. Uh, but she's okay with the painter, so I just need to bring somebody else that she likes. Uh, she probably likes the zoologist. I know she likes the truffle. Maybe she likes somebody else. I don't know. This is a problem. Uh, okay. This will look fine. Just go with this. I'm doing this on the fly because there's no better way to do it. Uh, we're going to need some of you to be instead you. Any stuff is done, I guess. How many walls do I have? Not nearly enough, of course, of course. How could I how could I forget the age old principle of I'll never have enough fucking shit to be working with here? Nope, this is just so wrong on so many levels. got a little bit of time before it turns day. I have a few other NPCs that I can try to shove in here and see if they work. And That's all fine and good. Okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted, but I want you. Uh, zoo girl. Damn it! Do you not like the zoologist? She doesn't even fucking care. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Okay, there's a living loom down. We're gonna put banner in here along with a wall creeper statue then the world banner here hornet statue there there's your decoration fuckers yeah completely forgot that I was going to use hard sand in some way here. I don't know. Does the does the dryad really not like anybody here? I don't think so. Like maybe she likes the guide. I know she likes the witch doctor, but I can't get the witch doctor right now. <laughs> Who does the painter like? I don't know. I'd assume the painter would like the stylist because they're both like artists, but I don't think they actually like each other all that much.
Yeah, I might as well turn this into a house too. I mean, it'll work. I'm just setting my spawn for now so I can go do nanigans. Because I might need to do nanigans. Some nanigans are. There's houses for everybody. There's a traveling merchant. Where's he at? He's close to me. Great. Hey, buddy, old pal, old friend, old guy. Yeah, we gotta go back. Shame, but whatever. Close it in. Okay, uh. let's go fill up the top apartments up here. I think we do have all of the NPCs. But the zoologist doesn't matter anymore. The painter not matter anymore. Wait, the painter likes the jungle, though. I can put the painter back, but I don't know who the painter likes. If I could figure out who the painter likes, that'd be great. Who the hell does the painter like? Maybe I sleep until night while I'm here? And I start moving people around again? Yeah, let's, let's put Luigi there. Let's go to sleep. Okay, I know it's like just turned morning, but... It's fine. Because if the painter likes the angler, or the, the merchant, or maybe the guide, easy, throw them over in the jungle because the painter likes the jungle and call it good. Yo, is that an Eater of Souls club? Center of the screen look ah, barely a bit left. right there oh it's gone now because windy day started whatever it's mm -hmm. good music And yeah, the day's just flying by. This is great. I think he's got a gold coin in him. Damn. That was worth the little bit of effort expended. What candle is that? Is that a Skyware candle? A 
I don't even know. Uh, let's see. What time is it now? Why am I so tired? Oh, right, because I woke up really early this morning. How long have I been live for? About two hours? Uh, I'll probably go for another half an hour. Then I'll call it quits. I'll go get some food. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go buy me some like nice food. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I'll, I'm gonna get something nice. I'm gonna treat myself a little bit, cause I've got, I got the bandwidth for it. Oh, I never checked in. Oh wait, no, he was over in the jungle. I did check in. We're good. This is nice music. Like, it still fits the vibe of Terraria. This is so nice. Okay, it's nighttime. Let's bounce out of here. Picasso motherfucker's back. Do you hate or like anybody here? It's boring. Green, brown, that's it. Perfect. So he likes nobody around him. At least I verified it. Let's pull him up here. I know he already doesn't like the zoologist. Actually, I didn't even check to see if he likes the zoologist. I wouldn't assume he'd like the zoologist. Maybe he'll like the stylist. Who fucking knows? Not me. That's for certain. I don't think he like, or I think he doesn't like the uh, demolitionist. I don't know if they're close enough, but they're definitely close enough. So, okay. So he doesn't like anything there. Let's move the die trader over here and then teleport there. Oh, hold up, get die trader off the screen. No bad idea. Does the painter like the nurse or maybe the arms dealer? I don't think he cares. Fuck, does he not like any of these guys? Shit. Maybe he likes the maybe he likes the party girl. Let's see. Yes, he likes the party girl. I have an option. Let's go. Okay. Uh, back to the desert. Let's put uh, Mr. Die Trader. There you go. What's his name? Abraham? Ahirom. Arom? How do I pronounce that? How to pronounce uh, that name. Oh, it's a king of Bi Biblos? Biblos? Hold up. I don't see any of it. How to pronounce. Hold up. I'm going to mute my audio. Oh, it's just a hearum. Okay. I can remember that. That's super easy. Uh, oh, I didn't move him off screen. So There he goes, teleporting away. Uh, Dryad, I'll leave her over there because they're indifferent towards one another. But I will need to move... Who else is over there with the Dryad? Nobody is over there with the Dryad. Nobody is up there. We're going to move both of them over there. So nobody needs to be moved right now. Cool. I just need to get over there and move the party girl and Luigi. His name is Luigi, right? Yeah, I need to move B Bambi? Bambi and Luigi over there. I usually just call them by their like class names. They're like NPC names, but... But Ahiram is like a dope-ass fucking name. I mean, so is Luigi. We've seen that recently, but... And I can only assume Bambi is a reference to, like, the Disney movie. Oh, I gotta pull up chat. I did not have chat pulled up. 
ignore my audio mixer, so I didn't know if I had turned my audio, desktop audio back on. I did. We're good. And obviously the dryad's gonna, the dryad likes me in general, so we're good. I'm back. Yo, how's it going? Happy to see you back. I need to move the party girl in here. So the party girl will, we're both there. Party girl will make him happy enough to sell me a pylon. I got a fucking pylon. Let's go, dude. Now I can remove the bed and drop the pylon instead. Now this is just linked into the network. Whenever I want to go to the jungle, ah, I hate the happiness feature. Dude, I love it so much. God, it's so nice. And the only reason I love it is because they actually implemented pylons. And pylons mean I don't have to walk everywhere. Sure, it's a bit like, it's a bit rough to like build houses everywhere if you care or spend a little bit of extra money for not doing it. But doing it, the reward is so good. Like, they really did balance that pretty fucking well. Because, God, the pylons just fucking slap. And I love the way they implemented, like, the like, dislike, love. And, or, like, dislike, love, hate. Because then it means, like, all you got to do to get the arms dealer happy, no matter what biome he's in, is just throw the nurse with him. And he'll, he'll, he'll be happy enough to do the, your shit. So, like, even now, I could I could just go put him in the fucking jungle biome and get the pylon from him. God, I love it. Like, shenanigans, man. I love shenanigans. I love them. And this fucking happiness feature, God, it's shenanigans on all shenanigans. Actually, can I turn that bed around? Dope, I can turn the bed around. Uh, do I want anybody in this house? Maybe the nurse, but I, w I, I have to do the guns dealer, and I don't want to have to move him back. Uh, actually, we should just keep it all in here. Set our spawn and go back. Which pillar first? Out of the four celestials... Depends. Do you need any fragments for anything? I mean, if you want one of the dies, go for them. But if you just don't really care and you just need to like kill them off first, I think the stardust is the hardest, so you should go for that. Try to get yourself better at the game whenever you can, you know? And then from Stardust, probably like Solar, then Vortex, and then Nebula. But that's also from a, like, really experienced player's perspective. So. That might not really be a good option. Yeah, fuck. Something like that. I mean, yeah, just go with whatever. Oh, and that's the other, like, that's that's another reason why I love the fucking pylons. Because you need an above-ground mushroom biome to make, like, or to get the truffle anyway. So you can just always build the fucking mushroom biome by the goddamn jungle. And then, boom, you got teleportation to the jungle in early hard mode. Like, fucking great. I want that bat statue. Yeah, I ain't leaving without that bat statue. Sorry, bud. I did not set my spawn, did I? I don't think I did. It's okay, I'm a bit of a gamer. They're all the same amount of difficulty for me. That's fair. Then just do whatever you think, like, it's gonna be fun. It's a good principle to end back on. <coughs> ah, big scene. I don't think I set my spawn, so I'm here. Spawn point set. Perfect. Now I know I set my spawn. I had not before. So. Yeah. It was worth it to come back here. And then this campfire is giving me a bit of health regen. Standing still will give me more. Let's do that. None of them are fun. They're kind of boring. Ah, maybe. After a couple of times they can get a bit boring, but... 
I don't know. I don't think I've ever found them boring. I don't necessarily know why. I guess I just haven't. I've done them quite a few times. Oh, maybe. Maybe if you do them, like, really fast, one after the other, and, like, do them multiple times to try to get the Moon Lord fight. Yeah, I can see how they would get, like, repetitive and annoying. I suppose I haven't done that, so... I definitely would see them as annoying because I don't, like, force myself to complete them. Okay, can I, like, get anything new? I mean, I'm just looking for new stuff. Perfect. New. First few times I were fun, except for Solar. That was very annoying. Solar is designed to be the worst. As far as I remember. I know they're all designed to have a specific principle in mind to help you fight Moon Lord. Like they're trying to train you. You can spawn Moon Lord. Yeah, with the fragments. Like all you gotta do is just craft it. I think it's the fragments. They create the summoner. But I know they're all like intended to challenge you in some way. I think the uh the nebula ones prevent you from healing. And Moon Lord's bite prevents you from healing. Vortex ones mess with your gravity, which is like trying to sort of teach you that you can't really escape from the Moon Lord because he's faster than you and he can teleport. There's a few other ones. I don't remember all of them. I think I saw a video e essay on it. That's why I'm remembering them. Going to stand still and fight it. Well, I mean, that works on like lower difficulties, standing still and tanking the Moon Lord, but it doesn't work anymore like i mean once you get to expert mode you can kind of do it if you really prepare the shenanigans maybe make an invincibility frame generator or something like that it can work but you have to like really do it nah master mode it's impossible don't try to shenanigan that because shenanigans beget shenanigans and he'll fight you <gasps> an ivy staff yay or a staff of regrowth whatever the fuck it's called i don't care it's what i wanted it's one of the things anyways Hey, a marble biome. We haven't seen one of these yet. That's new. So I can stand still and fight them real quick. Yeah. I know you can do that. The Moon Lord's... He's, he's a bit of a pushover in, like, normal mode. It's just because you can tank him. But yeah, that stops working eventually. That's just a wall of dirt. Mud. Dope. Also, I now know where a marble biome is, so I can, like, actually get marble if I want it. I don't really have anything in mind for decorating with marble. At least not right now. Uh, that was a dead man's chest down there, so that's why I'm not stopping for it. Because I'm also mainly just here for jungle loot rather than anything else. Oof, I died of poison. Yep. Your mind goes numb. What the fuck is this? Why the fuck is this? This is a bit of a pushover in normal mode. I feel personally offended. I'm sorry. I have over a thousand hours in this game. Everything is always. Everything I say is going to be skewed towards, like. A semi-expert's perspective? I wouldn't consider myself an expert on the game. Maybe I'd consider myself an expert on the game? I don't know. I have played it a lot. Like, I've done some fucking games. Like, I have played this game. But, I don't know. I don't know everything about it. I know a lot about it. I don't know. Joking, by the way. Had to use pots, though. First time I fought him. Oh, I did the same thing. Like, when I first played the game, beat Moon Lord... First time I did it, I was over-prepared to hell, because I was doing it in normal mode. Uh, where am I going? I'm just going back to wherever I died, just down there. Uh, and yeah, we'll cut across to the right down here. I did the same thing. Nowadays, catch me in fucking, uh, catch me in any expert mode playthrough that I'm going through with some of my less experienced friends, just absolutely tanking everything the Moon Lord throws at me. First time, it says 4% damage increase from menacing things, or...? I'm not sure what you're referring to. That's the problem. Or that's my problem. 4% of base damage or current damage? Uh, actually, here's the, here's the easiest way to determine that, because I don't remember it, but I do remember a completely separate fact that'll help. Um, hold on, do I have anything menacing? Yes, I do. So if you look at the menacing band of regeneration here, uh, I don't have anything really high in damage, but we'll see. So this is 10 magic damage right now. Uh, since it says so right on my thing. 
if I remove the menacing. Uh, come on. Oh, there we go. Another 5% mana magic damage. Anyways, it changes. Like, uh, oh, wait. Uh, here. The rockfish is marked as 24 there. With the band on, it's still 24. Because it's only 4% increase. It's not that much. Uh, the rounding changes. It literally shows you what's different as you go along. Uh, oh, here's a jagged GPS. Let's see if that changes it. Uh, 25. There you go. You saw how it changed. So your base da your base damage isn't really your base damage. Uh, your your damage of your weapons is always going to be listed as current damage. Because like if I change this stuff back, uh, this goes back down to 24. There you go. So that's why like accessory management is like super important in speedruns. At least speedruns that actually use accessories, because there are a lot of speedruns that just fucking don't bother. Unless, like, they find a cloud in a bottle, they're just like, yo, dope, that's good odds. I got very lucky there. Cheers, mate. I was really hoping to be able to get the Zenith to over 400 damage, but I don't think I'll be able to. Maybe. I don't know. Because I don't know the Zenith's normal damage, but I think it's in the 100 somethings. Because it is, like, it's, well, it's post Terrorblade, yeah. By definition of like, ah, it's a problem. Yeah. Big sad, but it's okay. I still got my spawn point. I don't know the Zenith's normal damage. Yeah, it's whatever. Okay, I'm not going over there because I didn't see much pro. Well, no, because I should go over there. Just because there was, like, that minecart rail, I should go over there. Because there's, like, so much potential for, like, open space to be there. God, you really did do a lot of damage to me. This fucking sucks, dude. Where am I going? Let's go down. Let's not try to cut across. Well, enemies despawned. Let's just go down. I think it's a more open space anyways. I'll probably be better off with it. Got him really not caring about my damage anymore, am I? Can I go? Oh, wait, what? Am I near it? Or did I not? I don't think I went down all the way. So I don't see any torches near me. Wait, jungle spores. Need a lot of those. Ah, piranha. Okay, where am I going? Uh, down here to where this minecart rail is. So I could try to dig down. Sure, why not? This is fun. Second pillar down without moving as well. Hey, that's good. It's fun to challenge yourself like that. I mean, hey, if you want, like, the worst fucking challenge ever, you want to be a masochist, go for a chariot playthrough. God, you can even be on normal fucking mode. Nobody will give a shit. If you do a chariot playthrough, people will be so fucking happy that you did one. God. I want to do it, too. I've never done one. Ah. Uh, after this one, I'll probably do a master mode, like, Trunk World Seed. Uh, chariot playthrough. Uh, you you are not allowed to use any movement keys unless you are in a minecart. Oh, don't worry about idiocy. It's niche. Like, psh, don't fucking worry about it. I got tons of hours. I may, not, I may be, like, disconnected from the community. But, like, Crab Bar on YouTube? Fuck, that guy's nuts. Like... He's fucking insane. I that's. But yeah, you play the into like you can only move while in a minecart, so it's kind of just luck of the draw on the seed if you can dig straight down and find a uh, <laughs> a minecart rail, because you can mine the rail and then like do that. Happy days don't make stupid the hard chat. Yeah, the Terraria community has like good YouTubers to rally around. It's always nice. Like, no armor and life crystals? Yeah, 100%. And 
no mining. Oh yeah, I did a no mining one before I did any streaming. That was years ago though. It was not very fun. That one was before I became more of a masochist. Time to mix them all. Yeah, that's well. Those are called minimalist runs. Like uh, if you've ever seen the Super Mario Odyssey minimum captures run, that's basically it. You're just going or lowest percent sort of shit, trying to complete the game in or with the least amount of progress made in the game. They are so fun to like theory craft and like route out, but God, do I hate them for all other purposes. Watch a ton of min caps. Oh hell yeah. Down to three if you didn't know. It's down to three? I thought it was down to five or seven or something. It has been a while. I don't play a lot of Odyssey myself. I have it. Bitch! I went so far to get to there. Ah! I mean, it's not really that big of a deal because I can always just get back to the place with Bowser before Dragon Pole and Cat Pole. But those are the three unskippable ones, right? Like... You could only skip the cap one with a... Maybe a wrong warp? Maybe. Yeah, you'd probably you'd probably have to use a wrong warp. Um, but I don't know if any wrong warps have been discovered. Third move with one down. Hey, good shit. You have to teleport Cappy to skip the other wires. Oh, yeah, those are like... I think I remember that. That's like a Cappy return jump or something. Cappy return cancel, something like that. CRC, Cappy return cancel. That seems about right. Hey, you were one step ahead of me. Hell yeah. Uh, what else can I do to mitigate inventory space loss at the moment? Shoe spikes in aesthetics. Feral claws in aesthetics. Loot. Loot all of you again to see if I can do anything. Um, it looks like all this is just stuff that's gonna have to stay. We'll make multiple trips. No big deal. Perfect. Watch a lot of small ants. He's done a lot of stupid tedious challenges like beating Pokemon flat without taking a single damage soul silver with only shinies. I think I've seen a couple of that. I watched a bit of small ant. I know I follow him on here on Twitch. I don't really watch him though. I know I did. That's where most of my knowledge from minimum captures comes from. Him and like CJ. Speed an SMO without playing SMO. What did he do? Just like not turn on the console? Or was he just like really angry the entire time? Because that sounds familiar. I think I've seen him like be really angry. And just be like, man, I'm not having any fun, so I'm not playing it. Just rules lawyering the definition. Which is very, very funny. He's really grumpy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I can. I have two people I can sell to now, right? Because his pylon is worth what? 840, and his pylon is worth what? Seven something, maybe? Yeah, so I should I should still sell to him. Big sad mode. He has to fight stupid with stupid. That's reasonable. Okay. Oh, you know what? As a... As a way to get from here down to the down to the underground spot that I'm building to, we will dig one more elevator. First things first, we gotta get down to the house, wherever the hell it is. Uh, I think it's over here. Where is it? I do not know. Oh, it's below me. Yep. So what we're going to do is going to essentially dig a 2x2 two two elevator, or a 2 wide elevator. Not a 2x2 two two elevator, but just a 2 wide. Oh, please die. Okay, he'll jump into the lava. I'm safe there. Woo! I set my spot for good. Hold up. Breath 
the log 100%, which is crazy. Yeah, I got close to that. Hell, I've even got VODs on my VOD channel about, or like my YouTube VOD channel, about like a lot of hours in Breath of the Wild Master Mode, close to 100%. I think I got somewhere into like the 80% range before I just decided that I, I can't do it. Just done it without touching the controller. Did he put on like oven mitts? I think I've seen him do that. Speed ran it. Oh, dope. Use chopsticks. Ah. like this Terraria Otherworld music. Yeah. Should be just here and then fall down and I'll go straight into the gap. Perfect. be able to kill these both. My game achievements reset, so I'm about to come on for the first time. Ooh, you think I can win? Probably. If he got a zenith, yeah. You'll probably be fine. Maybe not right now. I mean, solar armor alone in normal mode? I don't think so. If you get a heart, uh, if you get a heart lantern and a campfire and a regen potion, you got decent odds. Campfires and heart lanterns. Yeah, you're gonna also need a regen potion. That's uh, bay bloom and a mushroom. you have uh, Crimson or Corruption in your world? This is important, I swear. Or did you use the Drunk World to get both? Because that's also valid. Because I love Drunk World. I play all my games on Drunk World. Except for this one, because I had to play it on For the Worthy. May an I-beam laser won't attack me because I'm killed before he shoots it. Damn. That speed. Yeah, if you've got crimson, what I'm going to suggest is you actually get a uh, the vampire knives from the dungeon. If you uh, if you farm for the crimson key, it's it's a lot of work to farm for it, but it's definitely worth it. You can have extra life regen. You want me vampire knives? I believe in you also hate crimson bro i love i hate crimson when compared with corruption but i love them if i can get them both in the same world they're both like if you're fighting both at the same time god that's so much fun like i don't know why it's just cooler but it is i like the way that they balanced it out so that like the crimson and the corruption were a bit different and so like you you, you get different advantages rather than the uh what's down there that's a star isn't it I like it so that the like the crimson gives you a bit more of like a while also being a defensive bonus it gives you a bit more of like a flexible defensive bonus with the confusion thing and like the brain of confusion actually being good now. And I like how the corruption gives you like a pure defensive like yeah this is flat damage reduction like it's great. I think it's really cool. I wish I tried the three mech bosses achievement or solar armor because that sounds actually kind of fun. You can always just take your solar armor off and go get, like, normal hallowed armor. There's nothing stopping you. Man, this is fucking annoying. I don't 
know how fast the lava flows, but it doesn't seem to be draining very quickly. Oh, it's draining a bit. It's just really wide. Oh, do you think I'm accidentally duplicating any of it? Let's see. I might just be increasing its volume by being a stupid idiot. So we're going to change that. Couldn't even make me lose four hearts. That's kind of sad. He's a bit of a pushover. Once you get into the stronger shit, absolutely. Stronger shit being both gear and skill. Oh my fucking god. Get the terrarian or something? Or do you get the meme thing that he can drop? I forget. I think he has a meme thing he can drop. I don't remember what it's called. The damn thing. Ooh, text message. Oh, neat. Roommate got pizza. And he's going to train. Or cap train. Well, you gotta tell me what you're freaking out about, then. Best item in the game. Uh... Meow your minecart. Oh, I forgot they made that a thing. Insert neon cut. Let's see how good this makes it. Come on, all I need to do is just get up there. There's a fucking depth meter in the lava. What the shit? <laughs> That's wild. Second last prison. Big Pog. Oh, right, because jungle bats can drop depth meters. So it just did. There's your evidence. I got a second one. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so weird. Okay. I dug a elevator. So now I can just undo this spawn point. Head back home again. Get everything in here laid to rest. Throw you away. Throw you away too. Get sell, sell, sell. We're gonna keep the staff of regrowth because actually we're gonna go use the staff of regrowth because that's a fucking tool, dude. It's so good. Sorry, I'm not checking chat right now. Hold on just a sec. There we go. Six portals. Fuck it. We have like a, have like a national solar shortage. 27. You can always get more. You can just resummon them in. Over and over. And over. And over again. Alright. Massive. Massive improvements on all this shit. Look at all these seeds. God, I love this staff of regrowth, bro. So fucking good. This is an interesting rendition of like a Terraria theme as well. I kind of like it. It's spooky. It's, it's, it's quirky. Actually, I have four manipulators placed the peat farming in. Yeah. That's just the nature of the game, though. In Terraria, it's never about, you know, like, if you'll get the item. It's just how long are you willing to sit and grind for it? What efforts are you willing to go to in order to improve your odds to become the best, you know? So, yeah, the reason for all that prep work of building a jungle house, getting a jungle pylon, getting space to run around in, getting a bed down there, getting this elevator made, all that is to facilitate the process of getting from my house to there. I just realized that I have shit on. And I need to change that. These are garbage for accessory slots, but really good otherwise. Uh, no, I just need to go sell some th stuff for, for these guys, because I certainly don't need this or this. Don't even know they're out of Discord yet. Doing that now. Yeah, it's a bit of a process. But that is probably the biggest grind you will ever experience in a game. Be 
besides maybe like grinding for legendary items in Borderlands 2. Because I did that for a while. I don't recommend it. I have a masochist slightly. You're just a part time masochist, it's okay. Fake fan. I'm fucking with you. It's okay. It's alright to only want a moderate challenge. Rather than like the worst possible challenge. I mean I keep I keep talking about it on stream because I'm very excited to actually do the stream of a run of Pokemon Emerald where I can only use a single shiny Puchaina. Because I've already written a 19 page routing document for it. Like I'm I'm super pumped for this thing. You don't have any special items, do you? No, you're just considered underground houses. It's so bad. I hate that so much. Well, I did not have finding gold as a painting. I can use that. That's cool. <gasps> Mushroom statue. That's that's bright light. It's not like actually light, but it looks it looks cool. I don't want to challenge. I'm a loser. Well, that's not loser. You just want to play the game, man. The game itself is, like, intended to be challenging. Unless you're playing, like, Animal Crossing, in which case it's just intended to be fun. I mean, they're also always supposed to be intended to be fun. If, like, you, you're playing a game that's designed well, it should be fun. No matter if you get... Please let me out, please let me out. Yeah, just get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful, so we're just gonna do all this. I haven't been looking at my treasure monitor for, like, chests or anything. I don't have torches. God damn it. Do I do it? I'm not doing it. Have you beaten the torch god? Absolutely. I got the biome torch swap on right here. I can even open it up in the bestiary because I know that it's a boss enemy in caverns. Uh, oh, right. They don't apply the filters individually. They apply them together. Anyways, here's Torch God, an unseen deity responsible for a torch's eternal flicker, however easily angered by the unsightly, ungrateful abuse of torch placement. It's a really cool little lore thing. I love it. Is it on For the Worthy? No, you can just do it. Uh, whatever the fuck you want. Like, you, just, you can just go do it right now in normal worlds. It's super nice. That's why I'm placing, like, jungle torches when I have normal torches in my inventory. Because you can just have it do that. It'll just match the biome torch. to, or It'll just match the torches to whatever biome you're in. Super nice. I'm going back because I need to buy torches. Because I placed a lot of torches in one area and never been attacked. Yeah, you have to hit 100. <laughs> Which is a lot more than it probably seems. Like, it, it really does take a bit of time to really get it. Do I have the horseshoe still? I don't. I want a horseshoe. Because I have nanigans in mind. I really like my nanigans, if you couldn't tell. I also really like the word nanigans. Thank you, Pangea Panga, for the word nanigans in my, in or my thing. Fuck, I'm doing it now. Yeah, it's, it's fun. All you gotta do is survive. There's a bunch of little strategy guides that you can find online as well. Highly recommend if you can't get through it. But if you place them at the top of your elevator and just keep a row of torches all the way down and then just fall straight down, you'll pretty much, depending on how you built your elevator, it'll be fine. If you built it five wide and everything and all the torches are on the sides of it, you'll be fine. But you probably only built a two wide or a three wide elevator, depending. No judgment will come to pass, but what can I make out of my like gear? Jungle helmet and pants. I don't know what else I need. Probably more stingers. Uh, we'll make this our accessory for now. Oh wait, actually, what are you? Six defense. Hell yeah, you're way better. You hold on. Because right now, you're better defense. Oh, you're way better. Hell yeah. 
it's got e solar armor, I'll probably be fine. Oh yeah, also normal mode. Like in in for the worthy master mode here, I got like destroyed over and over again just because I was like also being dumb and trying to do it over and over again. Uh no, just the normal mannequin, please. Thank you. Down in here, place a mannequin with the wizard hat, and we'll add the robe later. You know what? I'll put the greaves on for now, but I'll, I'll swap in the robe once I get the chest plate, you know. Uh, and then you. Oh, I need one more because I was going to put the mining stuff on it. We'll put it on a wool mannequin this time. I think a good spot for that would be underground, actually. Maybe next to the toad one. Oh, and same with the archaeologist hat. If I make a mannequin, we can make the full set. That's nice. I think that'll be a fun little side adventure for us. I need to distract myself a lot in this world, if you couldn't tell. Well, if I whenever, I don't know if I'll survive or my armor is good enough. You're just like normal mode player. Normal mode. <laughs> ah, I <laughs> it honestly is a really good like margin of error sort of rounding thing, because... You know, it's it's normal mode. It's not, like, the easiest goddamn thing in the world. It's the easiest mode in the game, but, like, it's, you're not on a journey, probably. So. Stupid god, he's not attacking me. He can be finicky. so sad you'll get there you gotta have a high density of torches like uh right here i'll show my little setup because it's 10 rows of 10 placed on platforms and then he gets mad so now you gotta do is just like center yourself on your rope and fall down if you got a rope which i don't know if you do but you probably do there's a hundred on my screen at one time yeah you should be able to summon him with that usually it helps to be standing on flat ground just because I, I, I just remember that that's a thing that helps. Oh, I should go get food. <laughs> I think that'll be it for me. I think uh, I think I got a bunch of stuff I can do next time. Prepping for Eater of Worlds, obviously. But that was like, what, three hours of work? Yeah, I just spent about three hours playing this. I did a lot of stuff. I'll be able to summon him in. See what we can do after I get, you know, I'll get, I'll get my actual mana shit. I don't think a meteorite's dropped anywhere. I didn't see one on the surface when I explored, so there isn't one. I have to beat Eater of Worlds for that, I think. And then I get, you know, meteorite armor and shit. That's dope. I'm grappled to a wall. Oh. Do you have Discord? If you look in my, uh, like, the About section on Twitch, if you're on desktop, it's going to be below you. If you're on mobile, it's somewhere in there. Um... But on my about section, I just have, like, my actual Discord. It's not a server or anything, but it's just my actual Discord account. Uh, I just have it public because of... I, I have a small enough base of viewers that it's it's easy enough to just moderate it one by one. And if once it becomes a problem, I'll, like, I'll make a server and I'll, like, hire mods or something. And I'll be like, hey, can you guys just, like, do a thing? But for now, it's not a problem and I can just talk with people individually. But I probably should just make a server and just plug it. I'll do that. I can just do that. I'll make a server. But for now, my, my personal Discord's out there, too. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to log off. I got I got stuff I'm going to go do. I'm going to go eat food. Thanks for stopping by, Vikram. Appreciate it. It's good talking with you again. Hope you take it easy. Hope to see you next time. I don't know when I'll stream next, but I will have a great food. Thanks. Good shit. Adios. Roll. Shit's looking up. Shit's looking up. I'm excited. Um, I'm getting more consistent viewers. My my like, my shit's my shit's going up. Shit's going up. Shit's popping off. Ah, I'm fixing it. But anyways, shit's popping off. Let's go do this.